Good morning, this is Emily Harrison with NBC 12 News. I am live outside of the Fox Elementary School and I really wanna show you a special type of community that is out here early this morning. They're hanging up all of these messages and I'm not doing it justice, showing you the clear amount of people that are all out here hanging up their well wishes for the school, how much they love the school, holding on to each other and just showing an incredible amount of support after unfortunately this school did burn. This was on Friday that they had the incident and then there was another brief fire that happened on Sunday morning. That one was a filing cabinet that was found up on the third floor. But look at the overwhelming amount of support that is all out here. You can see all of the notes are handwritten. This one you'll find a lot saying Fox family things I love about William Fox Elementary and just the sheer amount of people that are all out here. I'm going to walk down with you just to show you how many people care about this school, its teachers, and of course all the students that go here. And we're also learning, just talking to some of the parents and students that have been out here, that they do some form of this every year, but obviously this one had to be different because they cannot go inside of their schools, but they decided that they're having Valentine's Day anyway, that they were gonna have it either way. And it's, it's not just the parents that are out here. You can see it's, it's the kids that are out here. They're the ones that are hanging up these signs and they are obviously the ones that made all of these messages and they are beautiful messages. Take a look down. I really wanna, I would love to stop and show you every single one. Here's some pictures that someone added. So many amazing memories. Once a fox, always a fox, class of 2016. Wanted to give a special shout out to that one because look at all the cute photos on there. And we're being told earlier that this was all made by an art teacher that opened it up and they gave, you can see all the supplies are out here where you can hang up your own message. <laughs> a lot of love out here by Fox Elementary. And even the dogs are caught up in the spirit. <laughs> Some balloons. For such a tragic story that has happened here with the surrounding this fire, it is really amazing to see the outpouring of support that has happened here at this once very majestic school. Still majestic, just a bit damaged. You can still see some of the remains are over there, but you look past that and you see all the love. And what's also really incredible about this is that I forgot to mention that this all happened within the span of about 24 hours. It was that art teacher who had posted saying that they were going to be doing this. And within 24 hours, look at the amount of people that showed up to make sure that love was heard, love was seen for this school. And it does wrap around at least the front end of the school and goes all the way around. Take a look at this one. Fox is love. That's why this hurts. The answer, more love. Just goes to show what a special community is here for Fox. I'm not sure of a lot of elementary schools that would go this above and beyond for their school. As for, I'm gonna switch you away super quickly, or try to. There we go, all right. As for rebuilding the school, what that's gonna look like, I'm gonna try and give you some, a little bit of information. Maybe have the hearts as a backdrop over here, but for the time being, there's a lot of questions as to what is going to happen. We do not know yet if this building is a complete loss or not. Superintendent Jason Cameron says that they are still talking with insurance representatives about this. And now the question is, what's going to be the temporary solution as they do want to hold in-person schooling? Of course, there's been a lot of options being put out on the table, including Clarksburg Elementary School was one that had been listed as a potential option, but no such decision has been made today. We do know that Fox teachers, staff, 
all of them are going to be meeting today to discuss sort of the potential and the future of what's going to be happening with Fox Elementary. And then later on this today, there will be an evening virtual meeting that's going to be held specifically for Fox families. What's going to be discussed in that meeting, we don't know just yet because it hasn't happened yet, but we hope to give you more information here on NBC 12. But that is sort of where we are in this process right now, the short term and the long term. As classes, as you well know, have been canceled Monday, today and tomorrow all canceled. They will be going to a virtual format starting this Wednesday. And then the hunt begins about what's going to be happening next as for what had happened. And I'm seeing some questions as to did they figure out how this all started? No, they have not figured out what could have caused this fire at this time. We do know that on Sunday when it sparked the second time that it was due to a filing cabinet that was still smoldering up on the third floor. But what started that initial fire that happened on Friday? They're still working to investigate that at this time. But I want to try and flip you one more time to show you the good part about this story, which is all the love that is out here. Take a look at this crowd. And what's really amazing is the sheer amount of people that want to come up and want to talk about how wonderful their school is, how much they loved it here, their memories. Even people who have been long since graduated from this are coming out to say a few special words about this process and what this school means to them. And with this very simple message... I love you, Fox. I think I'll leave you guys with that. A picture of the school and the people that love them. I hope everybody has a great Valentine's Day and enjoys all the love that is out here in Richmond. All right, take care, everyone.